back to vlogmas for today's video i am sharing with you all all of my empties of the year 20 i don't want to say 2021 because beech mein bhi ek empties kiya tha na so this is like half of 2021 wo last video ke baad jitna bhi mere products khatam hue sab maine dabbe mein collect kiya hai i have a big fat box over here it has makeup it has skin care and what not i've decluttered from the last video if you remember when i gave you all the vanity tour we decluttered everything at the back so everything is there with this video, of course, I'm going to share with you all what I would purchase, what I loved so much so that I would repurchase. So you will get a lot of recommendations there and what is like literally not good and I'm never going to repurchase as well. So there will be many reviews attached. As well as at the end of today's video, I'm doing my first giveaway for Vlogmas 2021. All the rules for that will be mentioned at the end of the video. So stay tuned till then. But now without any further ado, we can dive straight into this. If this is the first time you've come onto my channel, then hi, I'm Sarah. I make beauty and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Take a moment hit that subscribe button join the Sarah squad I'm sure you love it here and also don't forget to hit the bell icon right next to it so that every time I upload a video you get notified and with that we can dive straight into this okay Dabba is in my lap let's first start with what I can see on the top and what I keep repurchasing and absolutely love and that is the Fiamma Deviance body washes these are so good so good for the value of money I pay for this because like 500 ml costs me 400 bucks and there's always some or the other discount on this on Amazon I tend to order a lot of my like body care products on Amazon and refills on Amazon I have tried so many variants in them but my favorite is this one this this is the blackcurrant and burberry one i have now a new fresh bottle already in my bathroom ready to use still have a little bit left over here i will try to finish this as well and i've used also the lemongrass and jojoba variant now this one is more fresh so i will tend to repurchase this and the baby pink one in the summers and this is very less this is all season i love the fragrance of this for all seasons it's very nourishing hydrating cleanses your body does the job it's very very cheap is why i love buying it it's good and it's cheap and what else can I want from a body wash because I'm big and tall and I need a lot of products so that's perfect for me. Next let's dive in for another favorite that I keep keep repurchasing and that's the Garnier Micellar Water. I don't know why it's foaming up so much right now. I travel with this. I love the big bottle because again it's more economical to buy the big bottle. I feel like travel size variants are a lot of waste of money so I tend to just keep repurchasing the bigger bottles. Love this one. Love the yellow one also in this and I think now they have a new vitamin C one which I'm getting to try but love the micellar waters that Garnier does it takes off your makeup super easy you just need to drench one cotton pad completely and my base makeup is off and in the other cotton pad my eye makeup is off so it's fast it does the job is affordable highly highly recommend this one when it comes to removing my makeup I've also used two of my cleansing balms right here this is the Clinique take the day off balm very very highly raved about and so so true to its rave because it is 100% worth the money. I definitely do want to repurchase actually the bigger size of this uh, because I got the travel size in one of those kits. I purchased this for myself. I also got myself the makeup remover which is not here. Was it in my last empties or maybe I've just misplaced that bottle but the liquid makeup remover is also very 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 good. It's absolutely brilliant i would say so much so that it's better than the garnier micellar water of course it's even more expensive and that tends to get over much faster so that i might not repurchase because it's a little too expensive to keep rebuying but this one goes a very long way like i bought this dippy somewhere around seven to eight months back and trust me i use makeup a lot so it has lasted me so so long you need very less product it just emulsifies your makeup melts it like thoda sa use karoge na to be full face of makeup melts easily and it cleanses your like skin very deeply so you don't have to use a lot of micellar water after you use the take the day off balm so I definitely think it's worth every single penny you pay for this another very very good balm that I've completely used up is the Earth Rhythm Propolis Cleansing Balm thoda sa bachai like about two of my more makeup uh, applications will get cleansed with this much balm but again brilliant it emulsifies makeup so well it's literally a dupe of the clinic take the day of balm because this is half the money but it does the job beautifully used up so much sunscreen of course you know how integral sunscreen is a part of my life because i use a lot of actives on my skin and just in general i keep promoting this that please use your sunscreen even when you're at home and no matter what you apply on your skin active or no active in your skincare routine sunscreen is a must i've gone through so many different brands and tubes so first i'm going to talk about the bubble farm ultra light daily sun shield now this is a hydrating sunscreen this is spf 50 spf 40 
uh, and it protects against UVA, UVB both really like this one also it's a glass bottle so it's difficult to travel with but I've used it till the very very end even lost the cap that came on this pump very good sunscreen especially in the winters now you will love this one because it's hydrating there's no white cast whatsoever hydrating not in a way that it's gonna feel heavy on your skin it sinks right in but it has a moisturizing sort of a texture so I really really like this one I would repurchase this but this would be something that I would just keep in my drawer and not travel around with for traveling around I love squeezy tubes because they are very handy one of them that I've used up is the LA Shield Fisco Matte Sunscreen Gel. Now this one I don't like it zyada also. In SPF one this is not mentioned so I don't know how much is the sun protection but I don't like this because there's slight amount of white cast to it so if I'm applying makeup and all there's some flashback when I'm taking photos so I don't enjoy that a lot. Plus because it's water resistant it's slightly greasier on the texture side so I don't thoroughly enjoy the texture of the LA Shield sunscreen so I can like skip that because I love the next one that I'm going to talk about. This has been an OG since I was in college and this is a Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunblock. It's also SPF 50. Very good value for money for like 700 something and even on discount it gets cheaper. You get like 88 ml product. So if you're looking for something more on the inexpensive side, even if you want to try this one, I know it comes in like travel size variants. So for college girls and whoever wants to be more on a budget but still get good sun protection, you all can definitely try this out. I used it when I was in college and it helped me so much when I should travel by train and everything. But these days what I love, love, love using and keep buying refills of is the UV Do SPF 50. My dermat introduced me to this and this is such a good sunscreen. It's completely matte. It's like the silicone based texture and it sinks right into your skin. Like you don't feel this at all and where I like it is underneath makeup because it doesn't change the way my skin feels because of the sunscreen. So I'm getting sun protection but at the same time my skin is not greasy, not oily and has very minimal white cast with this and sun protection is maximum used two tubes completely and have another 100 gram in my jaw it's slightly on the expensive side the 100 gram tube costs about 1000 bucks so it's slightly expensive and with sunscreen i can't tell you little goes a long way you should use more and more sunscreen like at least itna to sunscreen use karna chahiye for the complete face to be covered and uh, so if you want to go for more economical options i've mentioned the entire variety and list to you i will try to leave all the links as well in the description box for you to check out there's also this cool feature that YouTube has that has a product section over here. So if you can just tap on that, you will get a list of all the products I can list for you over there. So I'll try to do that as well. Next, I got done with this Too Cool for School Egg Mellow Body Butter. It was such a yummy body butter. Honestly, like I have scraped out every single part of this. It was so, so delicious. Like literally, I should feel like eating it more than applying it because I loved it. And this was it. I was more motivated to moisturize my body because sometimes I get damn lazy with putting body lotion because I have a very big body and it's a task for it itself. But it is so, so, so good. It's so expensive for a body butter. It costs about, uh, I want to say, 1000 rupees. I think it was like 1100 or 1000 rupees for this. I got this on Limes Connect and I have a discount code with Limes Connect. You can use the code SARA10 and you'll get some uh, discount 10% off on Limes Connect. So I did buy this. This didn't even come as PR because I was very intrigued by the packaging and everything that this brand had to offer. It's very cool and unique and not something that's already on the market. And the texture of this body butter is not something like, you know, like a Bath and Body Works, I tell you, you buy it for the fragrance, you buy it for the experience. It's expensive because of the experience that Bath and Body Works gives. It's not that moisturizing. I feel like all of their body lotions are the same texture. Khali wo fragrance badal dete hai. But it's made the body butter is good. Like the content, the texture, the hydration and the lasting. It's so different now the texture of this. Like I apply it, I feel like it's nice, creamy, mousse like but then it sinks in and I don't feel it at all on my body but it still moisturizes for very long hours. Like the next day also, I'll not feel the need to reapply a body lotion or a body butter. So I definitely recommend this if you're looking for a good one, don't mind spending that kind of money, then definitely try this out. Ran out of my OG since literally a year and a half. I love this serum so much. I already have a refill in my jaw. This is the L'Oreal Extraordinary Oil Serum. Uh, this is such a great, great, great hair serum. It also 
acts as a heat protectant for me. I only use this on the go, even traveling with this, even though it's difficult to travel with it because it's heavy. But I still choose to travel with this because it's so, so, so bloody good. It's really a good serum. There's nothing else to say. It's not even that expensive. 500 and lasts you about three months. Aram se. After every hair wash I use this and before straightening my hair also I use this. So highly recommend this one also. My curling cream was over. But I've cut it to use till the very end and scraped out all the edges of my curling cream. Brand new tube already. The refill is over here. This is a curl up curl defining curling cream for frizzy baby and curly hair. You can see I have very frizzy hair even though I've straightened it yesterday. It's a lot of frizz. So when I wash my hair and the days I'm not straightening it for videos or anything, then I tend to use a ton of curling cream and scrunch it up. And this is so good. Even though my hair is quite damaged with all the heat treatment, this curling cream keeps my curls intact and looks good even when I'm not straightening my hair. So it's not like my hair is like a frizzy mess uh, when I'm not straightening it out. So this curling cream is definitely a must have. Highly recommend. This is my third tube of the same and I refrain to like switch my curling cream because it's so so good. Alright now we're down to the makeup section. There's very little makeup products. Of course it's not makeup khatam nahi hota. The first product I have is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Very very little of this is left. Of course I'm going to use it till the very end because this in India is like 1000 rupees. If you have anybody traveling internationally, definitely get it from there because it's not so stay over there. But I don't know if customers think that it's 1000 rupees but definitely worth it. I got mine on HOK Makeup because they have some crazy offers on their website. But so so good. This this is really good makeup setting spray. I would give this like a little higher rating than even the MAC Fix Plus. It's really that good. Highly recommend. Definitely going to repurchase. Going to wait till like that much also gets over and then repurchase mine. Another base product I ran out of is the Chambord Geneva Anti Shine Primer. This if you're an OG you know. This was literally one of my first PRs ever from an Indian uh, like PR agency that sent me PR and I used this primer till the very end like abhi bhi if I squeeze out na thoda product to pakka niklega is me se aadhi to hawa hai but thoda the product definitely hai is me and this is such a good primer you guys I anyways I love Shambor I've loved Shambor even before I got PR from them I've never worked with the brand as such but this is a very very good primer. I highly recommend this primer. It's very good for like filling your pores and everything. I wouldn't repurchase because currently I'm using a couple of other good primers that I'm also trying out. And I like to keep switching up my makeup. So I refrain from rebuying the same things unless they like literally blow my mind away. But if you're looking for a good primer, I definitely recommend this one. I have two concealers right here. The Pack Take Cover Concealer. You already know I have purchased your fresh one of this in my Nykaa haul. This is in the shade but this suit it suits me so well the color matches me perfectly and this concealer blends in like a dream like I love the coverage on this it's medium to full also if you want to build it up and it blends very easily so it's a very good concealer on the go or even if you want to wear for like flash photography weddings and stuff very very versatile and very affordable also like 395 for this is definitely worth it and another concealer which is again from the affordable section Again, already purchased in the Nykaa haul, so you must have seen this is a Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. Definitely a tried and trusted. Highly recommend. I'm in the shade Medium Deep Tawny, I think. Yeah, Medium Deep Tan is my shade in this. There are two mediums. That's why I'm mentioning the Deep Tan also. Love the applicator. The only thing is it has like a paint thinner kind of smell to it. So it's got fragrance. Even the foundation has that kind of fragrance to it. I have not tried the foundation though on this. But the concealer is very, 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 very good. Highly recommend this. Last couple of products. I have the NYX Vivid Bright Eyeliners. Now I love these because they are so fun and colourful. And very, very good actually. Formula wise, the liquid is very pigmented and it glides on very easily on the eyes. I have the shade Lavender and Blue. But just the idea of not using them enough, ye bohot jaldi sook jati hai. Like within 6 months, my lavender the dried out within 3 months only. And the blue one lasted me about 6 months and then it dried out. And I was so disappointed because by the time I think, oh, let me switch up my makeup look and I go and try to use it. This product has already dried up. So it's very sad like that. But I think... Anu told you, you can use that, right? Yeah. So I'm not gonna get, yeah, you, I'm not gonna get rid of this. You get Inglot's, what is that? Ah, Inglot Cut Duraline. So you can use Inglot Cut Duraline, which is basically this product 
it's like an oily thing if you put it inside to jo bhi sook jata hai it becomes wet again so you can start using your eyeliners again the lipsticks i don't think are completely over but definitely expired 100% aur kafi matlab khatam bhi ho gayi these were my mom's favorites this is the shade maroon mix this is the lakme 9 to 5 primer plus matte lipstick this was all the rage back in the day when i started youtube so i had so many in this shade and this is the shade maple map and maple map was a cult favorite if you pick up any of my old lipstick videos you will see this this lipstick over there and this was so so good everybody you should love maple map on me and maroon mix was my mom's favorite both these lipsticks are still very much a recommendation of course you've seen my lipstick draw you know i don't need any more lipsticks but if you are looking for a good nude and a good maroon shade lipstick these lipsticks last very long as well like they are hydrating and they last long like look at maple map it's like this nice yummy coffee meets gingerbread biscuit kind of nude and maroon mix is like typical mamma shade berry toned pinky and more pinky than berry toned so again very good formula hydrating lasts long enough like 6 hours that's good for a bullet lipstick and is also affordable like these go on discount and cost you like 300 bucks so highly recommend this i also got done actually finished the entire colourpop x i love sarahi liquid lip this is the matte lip in the shade softy i loved this colour so much when i was in college every time i would have to put on lipstick i would put on this one because it's a dark brown so it would suit me even better skin without any makeup on whatsoever love this lipstick love color pop formulations but i know it's difficult to get them in india or uh, you can get it on international makeup pages but then it loses the charm of being color pop and being affordable so then what's the point uh, but yeah that is it for everything that i've emptied in the year 2021 i mean naya saal naye products and nayi cheeze khatam ho gayi i'm so excited when things get over because i'm getting my full values worth uh, once i finish a product and now it's time for the rules of today's giveaway is the first giveaway of vlogmas this year is super special you know this year's vlogmas has a lot to do with impulse coffees because i told you all about impulse literally in this year's vlogmas so whoever wins today's giveaway will be getting all of these products and also one impulse coffees flavor bottle the rules of the giveaway are super simple first you have to be subscribed to my channel of course i'm hoping that if you're here you're subscribed to my channel but also be subscribed to impulse coffees is youtube channel follow both i and impulse coffees on our instagrams and also leave a comment down below and let me know which is the product that you get over with sabse jaldi kaun sa product aapke vanity mein aapke beauty and skin care mein sabse jaldi khatam ho jata hai along with that if you don't have an instagram then just mention your email address in your comment or mention your instagram handle whatever so that i can look back and check if you are following all the rules that is it super simple rules i'll also mention the rules in the description box for you thank you so much you guys for watching i will see you in my next video tomorrow bye guys love you Mwah.